Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Young reading for the Young Reader. Our story today is The Roly Poly Spider by Jill Sardegna, illustrated by Ted Arnold. The Roly Poly Spider by Jill Sardegna, illustrated by Ted Arnold. The roly-poly spider once spun a sticky web. Spun a sticky chair, two couches and a bed. Come visit me, she cried. I'm as lonely as can be. But the roly-poly spider was hungry too. You'll see. The roly-poly spider was casting out a line. She hooked a spotted beetle and reeled him in to dine. Sorry said the beetle. I really shouldn't stay. But the roly-poly spider drank beetle juice that day. The roly-poly spider spun on the garden lane. She snagged a caterpillar and asked, What's your name? He said, my name is Lester. I'm as handsome as can be. Said the roly-poly spider, you look like lunch to me. The roly-poly spider soon caught a bumblebee, but he was fighting mad. So she waited patiently. The more he fought, the more he stuck, the more she smiled with glee. And the roly-poly spider had bee's knees with her tea. The roly-poly spider set out a picnic treat. Up jumped a ladybug who stopped to talk and eat. The time grew late, the treat was gone. She wanted to be fed. So the roly-poly spider ate up her friend instead. The roly-poly spider tossed out a silken thread. Missed a skeeter's wing and missed a sewbug's head. At last, her sticky noose roped in a great big fly. Said the roly-poly spider, you'll be my shoe fly pie. The roly-poly spider was starving for romance. Along came a millipede who asked her for a dance. I'll teach you how to spin if you step into my web. But the roly-poly spider spun him in her web instead. The roly-poly spider went down a water spout. But after all she ate, she was too fat to come out. Stuck inside the middle 
she was there to stay. said the roly-poly spider. I ate too much today. The roly-poly spider wriggled in the spout. She wiggled and she wobbled till she finally popped out. She looked up at the moon. Then she yawned and settled back. Said the roly-poly spider, I need a bedtime snack. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed that story, then please remember to click the like button below. Also, subscribe to my channel now so you can easily find other stories read aloud by me, Mrs. Young, for the young reader.